Welcome back live inside Toyota Stadium. Jeremiah Dickey, the director of athletics over at Boise State, joins us now. Jeremiah, it had been like a decade since Boise State played a football game, an official football game, in the state of Texas, and now we come back twice in a couple of months. You're familiar with these stomping grounds. Not quite as, as familiar as El Paso, but this is kind of home. Absolutely, and, and it's a coincidence. This isn't just because of me and, and my uh, familiarity with it and, and connections back here, but this is such a huge area for us, uh, not just in football and recruiting, but across the board. You know, men's basketball, uh, uh, soccer, it, it's, uh, it's an important space, and, and I'm glad we're here this week. Talking about important spaces, NIL, a very important space in terms of the future of college athletics. Signing day coming up on Wednesday uh, for, for the Boise State football team. And I, I'm sure there was, uh, it wasn't just coincidental that you sent out something earlier this week about the Horseshoe Collective and how you're hoping that that grows. Um, where do you think that that needs to go and, and, and where does it currently stand? I, I know that you're not necessarily the director of that or anything like that, but, but how are you working with them to help benefit the future of Boise State Athletics. Yeah, first and foremost, I can't say enough about Joe Nickel and his support. Um, and it gives me a lot of uh, peace knowing that he is running this collective because he understands the rules that we're navigating. And we want to do what's right, always. Um, but it is important to us, Jay. I mean, when you look at what we're competing with, and right now everything's on fire, and, and I, I, I have a little bit of water and I'm trying to, to share it, right? And so, uh, you know, the name is your likeness space and collectives in general, we need Bronco Nation support, and and Joe obviously knows what he's doing, and 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 I have a lot of confidence that, that we're going to get this done and, and be able to impact uh, our student athletes in a positive way. Fundraising is the, or I should say, the need for money is the fires. Uh, you continue to find buckets of pails though to to try to yeah. douse out the flames around uh, not just Boise State, but with what's going on with within college athletics. Um, that is an area, I mean, you do see programs around the country when it comes to these collectives saying, keep our, you know, certain school and the, and the players where, they're, where they currently are. Um, is, there, is there pressure to, to move forward with that stuff? And, and, and where does it currently stand right now? In, in regards to the collective in general? Yeah, I mean, I, ultimately, we are dealt a hand and we're going to play it to the best of our ability. And, and I think soon athletes, along with administrators, we're doing our very best to navigate uncharted waters. And, and it's in our best interest to, to catch up, you know, because this is the way the industry is. And, and we're doing everything we possibly can to stay ahead of that curve and be innovative and live it out in action. And that's where I'm really grateful for the people that have. You know, uh, yes, everything's on fire and everything is a priority. I don't know how else to do it. And we're going to do our very best. And, and uh, as long as uh, you know, I keep my, my foot on the gas, we're going to find a way. Jeremiah, you have such a fun way of, I would say, teasing, but also exciting your fan base on social media. You have this way of um, subtly saying something exciting is happening. And by now, everybody in Bronco Nation that follows you has picked up on it. Uh, you've done it twice in about the last month. We got the answer to one of those this week, a million dollar donation, the eighth in the last two years. How much are you guys celebrating uh, those successes right now? We're absolutely celebrating. I mean, that's part of why I tease it. I, we need momentum. And we're and if we if we don't have it, we're going to create it. And it's part of us telling our story. Every dollar that we raise is invested back into this program. That's how we're funding uh, uh, assistant coaches. That's how we're funding um, our nutrition program. It matters. Six games, six sellouts, and we're going to be relentless with it. And so I can't thank the anonymous donor enough. And and uh, and there's more to come. There is another announcement, and and my hope is that it's out in the next couple weeks. Okay, so, so that we 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 know one. Two's on the way. Okay. You brought up assistant coaches. Um, you gave Andy Avalos the resources to go out and spend more money on an assistant coach than Boise State ever has. Um, why was that of importance to you? And I think more importantly, how were you guys able to do it? We're, we are going to compete. We are going to compete, and we have to spend money. And we're going to invest in the appropriate spaces. And yes, I have to be fiscally responsible, but that's a big reason why revenue generation is so important. Every dollar we're bringing in, we are investing back into our student athlete, staff, and fan experience. And it's a priority. And so when you look at our coaches, they have direct contact with our players and our student athletes and how they serve them and prepare them for life on and off the field of play. It's a priority and it's important the people that you have around your program. It's important from a culture standpoint and that brotherhood is strong. And so we're going to go out and find whatever Andy needs to, to elevate this program to, to new heights. 
I feel like the last four and a half months it's just constantly being blasted in the face with a water hose, uh, a fire hydrant, if you will. Christmas isn't that far away. Uh, the Boise State football team will be done. There's, there's no other athletic events, at least on the 25th. How are you going to kind of uh, decompress a little bit and, and spend your uh, your holiday season, Jeremiah? I am looking forward to spending some time with my family. It's been great having them here this week. Uh, I, I'm tired, you know, uh, so I, I need a few days of rest, And uh, but we're going to come back strong in 2023. I don't believe you're going to take it, but we're going to encourage you to take it. Jeremiah, incredible stuff. Happy holidays. As always, we appreciate you joining us on Bronco Roundup Game Day. Thank you. Go Broncos. Yeah. Jeremiah Dickey, the Director of Athletics at Boise State. We continue the count to kick off down here in Frisco, Texas, between Boise State and North Texas, next on Bronco Roundup Game Day.